It's so good to see everyone. Thank you so much to all of my friends that join me every week. You guys rock. I love seeing your sweet little faces. I see you over there, and I see you right there, and you, I see you. Hi, hi, good to see you. Thank you for being here. My name is KK. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, good to meet you. Hello, new friend. Today, we are going to be doing all sorts of fun stories and songs. So let's check in. Today, yay! This is a good day to be here for story time. Because you know, not all stories are written down. Some stories are told an oral story, right? So that means that they're told from generation to generation. Someone tells a story and then someone else tells that same story and someone else tells that same story and it keeps going on and on and on. And it's a really cool way of telling stories. Later down the road, people wrote them down in books. So those stories are called folk tales and we are going to be reading some folk tales today. Let's get started with our hello song. And this is our sign for hello. And these are our two little friends. And they like to give each other a hug. And that's a sign for friend. And it goes like this. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Yay. Okay, we're going to get started with our very first book today. And this is called Anansi the Spider. And it is a tale from the Ashanti. Okay, can everyone see here? Here we go. Anansi, he is a spider to the Ashanti people. In Ashanti land, people love this story of Kauai Ashanti. Time was Anansi had six sons. First son was called Sea Trouble. <gasps> Look at all these spider sons. He had the gift of seeing trouble a long way off. Second son was road builder. Thirsty son was river drinker. Next son was game skinner. Another son was stone thrower. And the last of sons was cushion. He was very soft. All were good sons of Anansi. One time, Anansi went a long way from home, far from home. He got lost. He fell into trouble. Oh no, what happened to Anansi? Oh, there he is. He fell into water and who came up? A thirsty fish and gobbled him up. Back home was son see trouble. Father is in danger, he cried. He knew it quickly. And he told those other sons. Road builder son said, follow me. Off he went, making a road. They went fast, those six brothers, gone to help Anansi. Where is father now? Where is father, do you know? He's inside that fish's belly. Fish has swallowed him. Anansi is inside fish. River drinker took a big drink. Yulp, 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 yulp. <gasps> no more river. Then Game Skinner helped Father Anansi. He split open the fish. <gasps> oh, there's Anansi. Then trouble came. Oh no. Do you see what that trouble is? A big bird. <gasps> it was Falcon took Anansi up in the sky. Quick now, stone thrower. The stone hit Falcon. Anansi fell through the sky. There he goes. Ah! Now Cushion ran to help father. Very soft, Anansi came down. They were very happy, that spider family. All home again that night, Kawai Anansi found a thing in the forest. What is this? A great globe of light. Oh, mysterious and beautiful, I shall give this to my son, said Anansi, to the son who rescued me. But which son of six would deserve the prize? They all helped out, right? Nayame, can you help me? Oh, Nayame, called Anansi, for 
Ashanti people, Nayami is the god of all things. Oh, look how beautiful. Anansi asked, uh, Anansi asked this of Nayami. Please hold the beautiful globe of light until I know which son should have it for his own. And so they tried to decide which son deserved the prize. They tried, but they could not decide. They argued all night. Naomi saw this. The God of all things, he took the beautiful white light up into the sky. He keeps it there for all to see. It is still there. It will always be there. It is there tonight. Do you know what that big golden light is? It's the moon. Yay! What a great book. I love that book. Okay, let's check in with our friends, oh, Ron, Tessa, and Luke. Hello, Ron, Tessa, and Luke. Thank you for joining us for story time. Deja is here. Hi, Deja. Good to see you. Oh, hello, hello, Maggie's here. Hi, Maggie. Jensen says hi. Hello, Jensen. Very good to see you. All right, so I've got my magical wand. I'm wearing my Imagine Your Story t-shirt. I don't know, can you see it? Right here, Imagine Your Story. It's got a cool purple dragon on it. And we're gonna sing the This Is My Magical Wand song. Those of you who were live in the library with me, you remember this song, but I need your help. So we're going to sing This Is Our Magical Wand and it's gonna turn me into something, but I need your help with what I'm gonna be turned into. What could I be turned into? I could be turned into, ooh, a lizard. I could be turned into a snake. I could be turned into a mermaid. So if you have some good suggestions on what I could be turned into, type it up in the comments and put it over here so that I can turn into something. So does everyone have their magical wand? I've got my magical wand. If you don't have a magical wand, that's okay. Let's use our imagination and create a magical wand. What does your magical wand look like? Does it look like a hammer? Does it look like a straw? I don't know. Only you know what your magical wand looks like. So the song goes like this. This is my magical wand. Tap, tap, tap. This is my magical wand. Clap, clap, clap. Tap it on your head. Tap it on your knee. Abracadabra, what will you be? Okay, what should we be? Oh, I already got suggestions. Yay, thank you guys. A unicorn. All right, let's be a unicorn. Can everyone stand up and be a unicorn? All right, so if I'm a unicorn, I have a beautiful, I have a beautiful horn and I have beautiful unicorn hair and I'm There's my unicorn. All right, this is my magical wand. Tap, tap, tap. This is my magical wand. Clap, clap, clap. Tap it on your head. Tap it on your knee, abracadabra, what will you be? What should we be? Oh, a monkey, let's be a monkey. Let me hear your monkey. Ah, oh, those are some good monkeys. All right, let's see what else we could be. A bug, how do we be a bug? Let's see, mm, let's see, I got my antenna. I like to eat little things. What kind of bug should we be? Should we be like a, a busy, busy bumblebee? Oh, boo. That's a good one. Oh, a T-Rex. Let's be a T-Rex. Ready? Roar. Can I hear your T-Rex roar? Roar. Whoa. Oh, man. You guys have some good T-Rex roars. Oh, a princess. Let's be a princess. This is my magical wand. Tap, tap, tap. This is my magical wand. Clap, clap, clap. Tap it on your head. Tap it on your knee. Abracadabra, what will you be? A princess. Oh, I'm a princess. Oh, are we all being a princess? Oh. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, that was fun, you guys. Any more suggestions? No? All right, I think I got them all. Thank you guys for such great suggestions. You are awesome. All right, I'm gonna put down my magical wand. And now I'm gonna tell you a story that I tell my daughter when I tuck her in at night 
So just like a folk tale, this is my own folk tale, and you never know. She could tell her child, and they could tell their child, and it could be passed on. Can you make up your own folk tale? I bet you you can. You guys are really good imaginations. So this is my folk tale, and it goes like this. This is a story of Chester T, who is a frog that went meow. Once upon a time. There was a happy little frog named Chester T. And Chester T loved to jump. And Chester T loved to run around and play with all of his friends. He played leapfrog and lily pad toss and all the other frog games. But Chester T had a secret. Do you know what his secret was? When Chester T went to sing, instead of a ribbit or, or a croak, he went meow. Meow, meow, went Chester T. Frog one day. Meow, meow, went Chester T. Frog. Meow, meow, went Chester T. Frog one day. And Chester T. Frog went meow. Oh, no, that just won't do. So Chester T. ran down to the witch in the land. And her name was Wanda the Witchy Witch. And Wanda the Witchy Witch was kind of okay at making potions, but she would have to do. So he knocked on Wanda's door. Knock, knock, knock. Wanda, Wanda, I need a magic potion. My croak sounds like a meow, and that just won't do. And she said, it can't be that bad. Let me hear it. So he took a deep breath and said, meow, meow, went Chester T. Frog one day. Meow, meow, went Chester T. Frog. Meow, meow, went Chester T. Frog one day. And Chester T. Frog went, meow. <gasps> oh, no, that just won't do, Wanda said. I have a potion just for you. So she took a little of this and took a little of that and mix a mix a mix a mix a and poof! <gasps> out came a potion. And it was the thickest, greenest, smelliest potion you ever did see. She gave it to Chester and said, okay, Chester, you have to drink this three times a day for three days and then you will no longer meow. So Chester T was excited and took his potion. <gasps> took it home and looked at it and stuck his nose and gulp, 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 gulp. He did it for three days, three times a day, and poof! He did feel a little different. Hmm, let me give this a try. Ruff, ruff, went Chester T. Frog one day. Ruff, ruff, went Chester T. Frog. Ruff, ruff, went Chester T. Frog one day. And Chester T. Frog went ruff. Oh no, that just won't do. So he ran to Wanda the Witchy Witch's house and Wanda said, oh no, well, you no longer meow, but I don't want to bark like a dog. She said, fine, and took a little of this and took a little of that and mix a mix a mix a mix a in the potion and poof, out came a smellier and greener potion than before. Okay, Chester. Drink this three times for three days and you will no longer meow like a cat or bark like a dog. So Chester T went home and he held his nose and drank the most and gulp, 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 three times a day for three days and poof, he did feel a little bit different. So he thought he'd give it a try. Took a deep breath. Moo, moo, went Chester T frog one day. Moo, moo, went Chester T frog. Moo moo went Chester T Frog one day, and Chester T Frog went meow. Oh no! He went back to Wanda, and then he was bang like a sheep and neighing like a horse. <gasps> he he never got to croak like a frog. He went back to Wanda and said, "Wanda, you've got to help me. I just want to be me." So she said, "Okay." And she took a little of this and took a little of that and mix and mix and mix it, and poof! <gasps> out came a glittery beautiful, sweet smelling potion. She said, Chester, drink this potion and just think about being the best you you can be. So he did, he drank the potion, didn't even have to hold his nose and poof, Chester T thought he'd give it a try. Okay, meow meow went Chester T frog one day, meow meow went Chester T frog, meow meow went Chester T frog one day and Chester T frog went Meow! Because you know what? There's only one you in this whole wide world, and you are perfect just the way you are. The end.
<laughs> I hope you enjoy my oral story and my folktale. Okay, so let's sing our next song. Since, <gasps> let's do This Is The Way. That's a good one. Ready? Everybody stand up. We're going to do This Is The Way. This is the way I touch my nose, touch my nose, touch my nose. This is the way I touch my nose at story time. This is the way I stretch a pie, stretch a pie, stretch a pie. This is the way I stretch a pie at story time. This is the way I spin around, spin around, spin around. This is the way I spin around at story time. This is the way I wiggle my fingers, wiggle my fingers, wiggle my fingers. This is the way I wiggle my fingers at story time. This is the way I sit in my seat, sit in my seat, sit in my seat. This is the way I sit in my seat at story time. Yay! Oh, that was so fun. Okay, now we are going to do the story of the three little pigs. So everybody got their three little piggies? It goes like this. Three little piggies sitting in a house. Along came a wolf, as quiet as a mouse. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Oh, that old wolf did huff. <sighs> oh, that old wolf did puff. <sighs> of my little piggy, Whee! he went away. How many piggies are left? Two. Two little piggies sitting in a house. Along came a wolf, as quiet as a mouse. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Oh, that old wolf did huff, and that old wolf did puff, and that old wolf blew that piggy away. Wee, 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 wee. How many piggies are left? One. One little piggy sitting in the house. Along came a wolf, as quiet as a mouse. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Oh, that old wolf did huff, and that old wolf did puff, and that old wolf blew that piggy away. How many piggies are left? None, no little piggies. No little piggy sitting in a house. Along came a wolf, as quiet as a mouse. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. But there was no one there to answer him. So that old wolf, he turned and walked away and said, I'll be back another day. And out of the secret hiding place, those piggies did creep and into their bed and fell fast asleep. Oh, the end. Yay! That was so much fun, you guys. I loved it. I love spending story time with you. It is so much fun. Thank you for joining me week after week. So if you are participating in the library's Beanstack Challenge, our theme to today was Folk tale! Woo! So put that in when you're doing the Beanstack Challenge and you'll get your Beanstack badge. But now it's time to say goodbye. Wow, that went fast this time. And how do we end our story time? Just like we started, but with our goodbye song. And it goes like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, all of my sweet, sweet book buddies.